grade ones, we have le been learning about my community. Today we are going to learn how to draw a building in our community. We are going to learn how to draw a hospital. So first I need to tell you what you need. You need three pieces of paper. You need a ruler, an eraser, a pencil and a sharpener. I want you to put your paper landscape. That means your paper needs to be the long way facing you. Make sure your pencil is sharp. Miss Tar's pencil is very sharp, you can see. I'm not going to use my pencil because it's difficult to see, but I want you to use your pencil. I'm going to be using a Koki so that you can see the picture clearly. First, we're going to learn how to use a ruler. You put the ruler landscape. On your piece of paper, you are going to try and draw straight lines with your ruler. You hold your, your ruler with your non-dominant hand. That means fingers wide apart. We don't put our fingers together because that means our ruler is going to make a seesaw like this. So put your fingers nice and wide to hold the ruler nicely. Then from the left to the right, Touching the ruler all the way, draw a straight line. Let's do it again. From the left to the right, my non-dominant hand holding nice and wide fingers. From the left, touch the ruler to the right. Can you try it on your piece of paper now? Now we're going to practice drawing straight lines from the top of the page to the bottom of the page. So on your same paper, you take your ruler. Remember, you hold it with your non-dominant hand. So Miss Ty is going to hold it with her left hand. I put the ruler as straight as I can. Put my fingers wide apart on the ruler so that we don't make a seesaw. Hold the ruler nice and straight, fingers wide apart, and we draw from the top. Touch the ruler all the way down to the bottom. Let's do it again. I put my ruler nice and straight. I take my non-dominant hand to my left hand, put it on the ruler, fingers wide apart, and draw a straight line from the top all the way down to the bottom. This paper is just us practicing how to draw straight lines because Okay, great ones, we're ready to draw our hospital. This is the picture we are going to draw today. Get your pencil ready, nice and sharp. Remember, you're going to use a pencil so that if you make a mistake, what do we do? We just rub it out. Good, let's get started. Okay, we're ready to draw our hospital. Remember, your page is going to be landscape, so your long side is going to be facing you. You can get your ruler and let's start by drawing the road at the bottom of the page. So put your ruler nice and straight, fingers wide apart and draw a long line for the road. Now we can start drawing the buildings. Let's draw the middle building first. So a straight line. And another straight line. And now the two smaller buildings on the side. There's the roof. And there's the building. And the roof on the side. Can you see how my two roofs are aligned? That means they're the same height. And straight okay, we're ready to draw our roof. Now this is a bit tricky so you need to concentrate because we're not drawing a straight line across, 
or a straight line down. This is called a diagonal line. That means your ruler is at an angle. So we draw one side of the roof, then the other side of the roof. Make sure they touch in the middle. And then we can draw another diagonal line and another diagonal line and the roof on top. Okay, let's start by drawing the door. The door is a straight line down and a line across and another line down. And then we can find the middle of the door and draw a straight line down and put two little handlebars. Then we can draw the word on top of the door that says hospital. So we draw a straight line across and another line across and down and down now inside there we need to write hospital if you don't know how to write hospital that's okay just ask mommy or daddy to help you h o You can put your ruler down now because we're going to be drawing a circle. A circle is a tricky thing to draw and not everybody can draw a perfect circle, but I just want you to try. So we start our circle at the top and we try and make it as round as semicircle as possible. Just do it nice and slowly. And close it off. Good. Inside of the middle of the circle, we're going to draw the symbol for a hospital. What's that symbol? Yes, it's a cross. So we're going to draw a straight line down, a line across, small little line across, a straight line down, a line across. It almost looks like Gus the Plus. But this is a cross. Just do this part slowly because it is a little bit tricky. Remember to just keep trying your best. There's my cross. Now let's, now let's give our hospital some windows. We're going to need our ruler again. You're going to hold your ruler nice and straight. You're going to go across, down, across, and back up to make a Simon Square. Let's do another one. Across, across, down, and up. Remember, we always work from left to right. Across, down, across, and down. Good job. We're going to give all our buildings some windows. Okay, Miss Tara has finished drawing all the windows of the hospital. If you can fit more than three windows and are on a side of a hospital, that's also okay. Just try and make sure that all your windows look almost the same size. Remember to use your ruler to go across, down, across, and up. Now, we're going to make our picture look beautiful now.
we're going to draw sun and clouds in the sky. So my sun goes around and then you can use your ruler to make the sun rays. It's also diagonal lines. There we go. And let's make some clouds. Miss Ty is going to use her ruler to make a straight line at the bottom and then around, around, nice, poofy, beautiful white clouds. And another one, because there's not only one cloud in the sky, poofy white clouds. If you've got a different way to draw your clouds, that's also okay. You can choose how you want to draw them. Around. Good. Now we have a beautiful picture. Let's start by drawing our ambulance. So our ambulance needs two round wheels. So we're going to draw a round semicircle. Remember to draw your semicircle slowly because it is a tricky shape to draw. Then let's start drawing the back of our ambulance and we can go across and then we go around the wheel like that and we go across once again and around the wheel like that and then we're going to draw the front of the ambulance here's another diagonal line that means it's just a skew line and across and down so now we can see the front and the back of the ambulance and then just the roof on top good then we can draw the line across because all ambulances if you see an ambulance on the road you'll see that it has this line across so that you can see the car easy at night then we're going to draw a round semicircle again and make the hospital sign. So you make a round semicircle and what goes in the semicircle again? That's right, it's a cross. So remember to do this just nice and slowly. If you make a mistake, don't worry. You have your eraser to rub it out and try again. Good. And we can draw the window because we need to let the ambulance driver be able to see the road. And the door handle. And inside the tires, you can just draw another semicircle so it looks like the tire and the rim. You call that the rim of the car. And at the top, we mustn't forget to draw the siren. This is the this is the light that you see that goes beep ba beep ba. Good. There's our ambulance. Wasn't so difficult, now was it? Can we move over to our helicopter? Are you ready? Are you ready to draw the helicopter? Let's go. To draw the helicopter, we need our ruler. We have to draw the bottom of the helicopter. So we draw the little legs that the helicopter stands on. Fish is also very excited. He wants to draw a hospital too. And then we draw a diagonal line. Remember, you use your non-dominant hand to hold the ruler. Okay, so that's the bottom of the helicopter. And now let's draw the helicopter. So we're going to draw an Aussie oval, which goes round. Remember, an Aussie oval is like a shape of an egg, so it's not a circle. It's like that. And we draw the tail of the helicopter. That's where the propellers are. And then we can draw the round propeller. 
It's almost how his lines don't touch my propeller, so just make sure your lines touch. There's the propeller. Then let's draw a window like we did for our ambulance. The driver needs to see. And again, let's draw our sign of the hospital, which we know now is a circle with a cross inside. And you draw down and across and down again and across. Remember we're drawing Gus the Plus. It looks like Gus the Plus. Normally these crosses are red. So you'll get a red cross on a white background. When we color it in, then you will see how it looks. And, and the last thing, we just need to draw the propellers at the top of the helicopter because the helicopter needs those propellers at the top. And we draw a cross and a line across. And there you have our helicopter. Good job, grade ones. Look how beautiful the picture looks. Well done, grade ones. There you have it, grade ones. Today we learned how to draw our community building a hospital. Fish just wants to say he's very sorry for barking so much during my lesson today, but it just excites him so much to draw. I hope it gets you excited too. Good luck, grade ones. That's all from Miss Ty and Fish. Goodbye.